How is it going everybody? I am Graham Boyd, Xbox Live's AC Bongos and the new football season is just kicking off which means it's almost FIFA time again. So I'm catching up with Nick Channon and Marcel Kuhn from the FIFA team to talk FIFA 15. Now Nick, FIFA 15 looking better than ever and it's really the action around the pitch. How do you go about putting that into the game? It's now completely AI driven. There's no sort of scripted sequences anymore which means we can tell the story as it plays out completely on the pitch. What we looked at was the crowds. We brought in 3D crowds and now you know, we have the ability to look at bringing a lot more personality in. We've now got the Copper Anfield. At Etihad, you'll see Man City going, turning around, doing the Poznan. All the players now, we, we're tracking the emotional state of all 22 players. A real focus on the English Premier League this year, looking better than ever. We were able to go in and scan every single stadium. So we've got all 20 stadiums. We're also able to scan the heads, more than 200 scanned heads. And finally, we've got the, the goal decision system. You know, is it goal or not a goal? Obviously, we just announced here at Gamescom the uh, Match Day Live feature, which we're really excited excited about so what that's doing is to actually pump news basically into our game so yeah. you'll actually see news from your favorite team it's updated constantly really making our game feel completely alive great stuff thank you Nick I'm going to chat about FIFA Ultimate Team now with Marcel Kuhn we have uh, two giant new features that are coming with uh, FIFA 15 Ultimate Team uh, the first one being concept squads which is essentially a tool that you can do to plan your squads. So you can either replace your whole squad, build an ultimate team that you want to go after, replace a single player or just replace your whole midfield and see how it would work with the chemistry with your existing team. Maybe plan the next transfer market move that you want to do. Uh, it shows you right away the impact that that player would have on your team, which I think is awesome. The second big new thing that we have is loan players. Now loan players, uh, you go to the EASFC catalog and there is a certain amount of players available for loan and they will just be slotted in your team and then you can play with them for a limited amount of games. So at Gamescom we saw the uh, FIFA Ultimate Team legends are coming back exclusively to Xbox. Yeah. What's new this year and who's on the roster? Yeah, we carry forward all the legends we had last year and then we're adding 15 new ones for 15, which is super exciting. In the second year, of course, uh, we have the added benefit of knowing who people want in that list. I'm quite happy to announce that we have the top two choices for the consumers, which is uh, Alan Shearer, the top goal scorer from the British Premier League, as well as uh, Roberto Carlos. So uh, be ready for some ginormous free kicks uh, in FAT 15 Ultimate Team. Still no Scottish legends though, Marcel. I thought we had this talk last year. Yeah, maybe we have it again next year. Uh, I'll try to do my best. <laughs> All right, Marcel, thank you so very much. Looking forward to getting my team, Iron Brunich. Yep. Back into FIFA all the team in 15. Uh, remember and stay with us for more Gamescom content this week. But right now, IFA had the chance to catch up earlier this week with Peter Schmeichel. I am here with one of the greatest goalkeepers of all time, Mr. Peter Schmeichel. How are you, sir? I'm very good. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Now, the FIFA Ultimate Team Legends mode has just been announced and you yourself, sir, are one of the legends. How does it feel? For all your accomplishment in, in active football, you haven't really made it until you make the FIFA 15. And what does it look like to see yourself on the pitch? It was weird. It's, it's, a, it's a very, very good avatar. I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm quite pleased. I think Brian Laudrup should be very pleased as well because all he's right. Spot him. It's not very big, <laughs> but in got... real life, I trust me, in real life it is. So who would you say were your greatest football legends growing up? My first World Cup was, was uh, here in Germany in 1974, and mm. I, I adored every single player. Players like Franz Beckenbauer, Paul Bright, uh, Gerd mm. Müller were players I grew up with, mm -hmm. and uh, you know I thought they were, they were fantastic, and, and, and Franz Beckenbauer yeah. is also in, in the And Legends he's there team. too, yeah, yeah, yeah and absolutely. He's in my ultimate team as well. Also playing for Manchester United. Most of those players in my book, they've gone on to become legends in their own right. Now, I have got a chance to pretend I know more about football than you do because I have a card here with quick fire penalty shootout questions and you've got five seconds to answer each one. Are you ready, sir? Yeah, I'm ready. Right, question number one. Which French player is one of only four players to have scored in the two World Cup finals? Zidane. Correct. Number two, who is the all-time Premier League goal scorer? Alan Shearer. Yes, oh God. <laughs> Question three, who is the only player to have won three World Cups? Franz Beckenbauer. Eh, eh. Pele. Pele. In the Premier League, which player racked up the most appearances? Um, Gary Speed. Uh, uh. Ryan Giggs. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Ryan. I should have known. Question number five, how many was that? That's too hard. Eight, 800. That's, that's a bit too hard. Mm. Actually, 632. I would almost give you what that. What do I know? <laughs> Peter, thank you so much. I've got loads more content coming for Gamescom 2014. So we'll catch you later.